this is martin from secret the channel for learning about trading and investing welcome to markets tomorrow daily stock market analysis where we look at the charts and then try to understand what happened in the market during the day and plan for a better trade for the upcoming day that's january 10th tomorrow wednesday 2024 so we had a failed attempt to move up today market did try to rise but fell into the selling pressure and then crashed down in the afternoon bank index was even more uh, bearish in nature in the short term so let's analyze and then get get into the conclusion the wrap up piece here but we'll go to the the charts and here we have so the candle that is formed on the nifty is an inside bar which indicates inside bars is a bar that is inside the previous candles body so that indicates it's a consolidation ahead possibly and it's a bearish candle so red candle although the market closed positive because it it can be understood if you look at the 15 minute charts the market did gap up moved up 200 points from the previous close nearly and then reversed from their inverted v-shaped move and did not stop there from the opening and further fell down and lost everything that it gained finally ended up closing 32 points up its flatest close of 0.15 percent similarly the bank of the same thing happened it was a 50 points move from the previous close nearly and then it inversed and then I thought 2 or 3 broke down and lost even more so it's it's like 40 points gain ended up with uh, with, uh, with a 200 points loss from the top so that's kind of um, volatile movements that happen in the market today so uh, we can also see that bank of had breached that range the range breakdown has happened it had already lost yesterday itself between the exponential moving average as well so it's more bearish than the nifty nifty still has not breached that range the tank of box that you see is still above yesterday it's 30 points above yesterday still not breached and both indices are on the very top of the trend line channel as you see here nifty and this is bank nifty right so retracement with the bank nifty is now three percent while nifty it is just up one and a half percent less than that so bank nifty seems to be driving the nifty down looks like that nifty has not even lost the 20 expansion over here still the breakdown of the range has not happened and there is a deep immediate gap right there at support so let's just um, get the support and resistance levels so it remains the same as yesterday on the nifty the first resistance would be all time high at 21 834 and then it's around 20 about it's like 21 900 could be resistance 22k definitely is a big rounding number and that can be a major resistance so upside and if it's moving up then it may not start at 20 to exactly it may further go another 200 300 and then probably think of a replacement if it's moving upside we're talking about similarly downside the immediate support would be at 21477 and then 21477 because it's very close to a rounding number of 21500 plus it's a gap support and 21371 we have the 20 expansion moving average that would be the next stop if that is breached then we come to 21135 that's a 23.6 natural retracement level and 21,050 is a 61.8 Fibonacci extension level. So between 21 and 21,100, you can say it's a good support zone. That is breached. You come to the next support at 27,73, which is a 50 exponential moving average, and a gap is there also in confluence with that at 2,702. So that two worst case scenarios that can happen in the coming days, not necessarily tomorrow. So that's about nifty and the bank nifty if you see 
we have the immediate first resistance out there at 47500 it's because it's a rounding number and the previous swing high maybe there's somewhere there and then there is um, resistance of 47500 also there 20 expansion moving average the support of which is no longer there you like no resistance now so 47500 would be the major resistance then 47750 would have some resistance and then after that you have 48000 rounding number resistance then 48500 and all time high 48600 resistances right and downside the support will come in 47200 which is with magic 23.6 and 61.8 so 47000 would be a rounding number which is confluence in with 61.8 actually and also it's a big rounding number so if 47000 is it cannot be held it's hardly 250 points which can go and touch 46484 which is a gap so 46500 would be a major support for bank nifty because it's confluence of 50 expansion moving average also coming very close to that at 46383 so that along with the gap at 46484 along with the big rounding number at 46500 would be a major major support zone okay. so 46000 500 if it is breached then you come to this 38.2 retracement level Fibonacci at 46,000 that's how those scenarios should play out on bank nifty with respect to the supports and resistances let's just quickly let's go back and uh, um, we'll just wrap it up so it is a flat green close for the nifty I remember both of them had capped up but nifty managed to close green but it was a failed attempt on both indices and nifty lost 200 points plus it's less than very close to half percent while bank nifty managed to close green with a flattish close remember we are in the mid of a 26 to 30 percent of rally in indices and previous swing low itself is 16 percent up and now we have still one and a half percent only on the nifty and hardly three percent retracement on the bank nifty so long way to go but nifty managed to close about this 21500 which is a big rounding in the support zone as we had seen earlier in the charts with seven three hundred you know, close below that is what is happens 48000 would be a key for the bank nifty does not happen when bank nifty is even more bearish because of the fact that it is lost that as well as this loss the 20 expansion moving average as intraday price action we already saw that fa is today's data has not come in but yesterday surprisingly when the data came it was found that the institutions did not sell yesterday all the institutions were buyers and the market fell deeper yesterday so today also you don't know what's going to happen is it the institution that's going to sell or is the retail Brokers who are bearish on the market, a lot of way to see. Persistent support levels, we already see. At the moment, more or less, we may say, and it is fallen to sideways and fall of falling down, while Nifty maintains the bullishness with respect to the moment of Mara size 60 above. Well, the, the trend indicator ADX that we use right, to understand what the trend is. I've also closed all the beer zones with the bank, but in the Nifty it's still in DAX. So there is a divergence with respect to the intensity of the momentum and the trend indicator, you know, falling. So the intensity varies, right? Uh, there is a divergence there. It is more intense on the bank Nifty. Mix is flat is close on 1.5% red, 306 still uh, not really cooled off uh, considering the fact that the market is still at the very top especially in nifty all demands as has been bank nifty has completely con started contracting in the sideways if you look at the bulge bands while nifty also has slowly turned into sideways from the expansion so contraction is beginning the beginning of a sideways consolidation is what we can understand from the bands of the daily so technically the correction of less than three percent right market is still bullish 
frequency vertical moves and then change it to relative moves. It is possible that this zone also, where the previous breakout zone could act as support and then market can consolidate or bounce up from there. The possibility is still there, we cannot pull out that. So, no matter how it happened in the morning today. And if you look at all the industrial, major industrial sectors, they all close green today, like I said, they are all red. Except the FMCG, which is red today, all the major sectors are green, and all the major sectors across the major seven sectors that we analyze, except the ID and the metal sector, all the sectors are still bullish with it, the momentum on the short term. If you look at the heavy weight stocks that contribute maximum to the indices, except the Infi, uh, TCS, and Kodak Bank, others are all close red today. So. And also the heavy weight stock is where the selling happened because all of them have fallen sideways momentum except one single stock reliance. So reliance alone cannot do the job of the market or the index. So heavy weights, um, sell-off is happening with heavy weights and uh, heavy weights are backed because of this small fall. But it's still not bearish, it's sideways. Just push slipping sideways, that's all. The major sectors are still bullish with respect to the momentum and they're close to green also although it is more or less flat flat green so the reason why the market gapped up today was because the US indices had made a good comeback yesterday with the green solid candle and uh, that's what we have as of now we we'll have to see what happens today uh, for next trading day tomorrow morning so as of now it looks green um, some recovery has happened there and the dollar also is showing some spike and will be as usual has been remaining weak and uh, staying weak forever right crude oil uh, was falling yesterday and seems to be spiking up once again after it had done a big retracement from the 90 to 70 kind of flows and it's spiking up and down consolidating in that zone coal also is attempting to move further up the spike green is seen after Remember that we had an all time high that was recently hit there, where sell off happened and it retreats, but it was not ready to fall further down to the neckline of the breakout and it was consolidating. And today we have a green gold, so that's about the commodities, global markets, currencies, and all that to give you some cues for the next day. Moment in investing uh, is when the breakouts happen, right? So we find the stocks and watch for the breakouts. But value investing is when the dips happen. So when the dip is happening, we can have some quality stocks in the SIP more in small quantities. Right? That will be the right time to do that. Whenever there is a five percent, ten percent, that's where you put in the money as an investor. In quality stocks, of course, or in very penny stocks. As a trader, the direction is poor or is clear on the medium term, but. Uh, we know that there is vertical up move in direct December month, so unusual breakout vertical moves and the kind of correction that is due is not at coming as we know. So, anything would happen, uh, the correction could simply extend you know, further down to 5% or 10%, all that could come in before market decides to take. The results in the IT sector is coming this week, so that can be very choppy, very volatile. So. But be aware of that and cautious. Trend is uh, completely not turned sideways. Until that happens, you have to you know, stick to the spreads or uh, more directional trades than non directional. Non directional, although option sellers may find it more really favorable, consider the fact that the IV person that is high and the call of could or decay could come in, IV crash crash could come in and uh, also the spread between the uh, implied volatility and the reliance volatility is in the somewhere in the middle range in favor of the option sellers but you have to be very cautious and cut short portion size if the VIX is spiking above the 20 levels so you be careful about your portion size and we are doing long direction yeah so market direction is clear play safe and uh, that's all I have if you are not subscribed and so please subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues so that it reaches out to max Thanks for watching. I'll put in your feedback and comments and all of that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Happy trading, happy learning, happy investing. Bye.